look like shit. <laughs> so I just came from the gym. Um, I just came. I was uh, work, I was doing the back. I did. I just got off the treadmill, so I'm a little sweaty still. I just got home, um, and I was actually on the treadmill thinking a lot, and I was thinking about like, like the value of stuff and like what we value. And so what's interesting is that I was watching a video about discipline. And the guy's talking about like, yeah, you got to be accountable. You got to like discipline yourself and stuff like that. And it's interesting because I was thinking about this and I'm like, man, there's some people like I've seen it. I've seen it where they have like, you know, perfect formula to be awesome. You know, they got both parents, both their parents are financially stable, loving, caring. And then you see them and they turn out like drug addicted, stupid ass, like, you know, kids. Right. And it's like, dude, you have the perfect environment. Why are you that way? It doesn't make any sense. And then they'll say something like, oh, well, you don't understand. Like growing up, it was hard. No, it's, the, it's like, nah, dog, my life was legit way harder than yours. And like there's even people that are like, you know, like really even worse than me, like poor, grew up hella poor, like, you know, like without a leg and shit. And they come out way even better. Like they come out disciplined and, and, and they value things. And what's interesting is that you can have the best environment, I think. And this is what I was thinking. You can have the best environment, but if you don't learn to value these qualities, it's like you're not going to develop these qualities. Example being like, okay, there's a like, I, I grew up very poor. One thing I always had is food. Um, I always had food, stocked food. That's what I always had. So in my fridge, I always have food. Because I learned that from my mom. Um, what's interesting, though, is that um, my brothers and I all learned the value of money. So we all learned to work hard, make money, because we hated being poor. Being broke sucked. Never had new clothes, nothing. Going to school, looking all lame. Thank God for uniforms, because I could always just use the same uniform. <laughs> um, but what's interesting is that we learned that because we hated do we hate being poor. And so it's interesting is that you go back to the, that neighborhood and in that neighborhood, there's still people living there that they don't mind it. They, they don't care that they're poor. They don't care. And it's very weird because to me, I was like, I look at that. And I'm like, I don't want to be poor, dude. Being poor sucked. I didn't want to do that. But when you don't learn to value something, you won't try to develop those skills to get out of that. So an example is like everybody knows they're supposed to work out. Everybody knows they want to have money. Everybody knows they want to have a, a, a like you know a relationship with somebody like a spouse or a boyfriend, friends. Um, they want to have these financial goals. They want to develop a business, etc. But they say these things like, "Hey, I want to lose weight," and then they're not doing anything to lose weight. Or like, "Oh yeah, I want to I, I want to make a lot of money," and then like you never see them working hard or like trying to invest or nothing. And it's like because on paper we know what we're supposed to do, but we don't. I think value those things. And when you finally learn to value those things, that's when you're like, okay, now I got to discipline myself to get to that because I understand now what that means. I understand what it means to be fit or skinny. And I know what it's like to have money and to be able to just have a night out. And like when you come back the next day, you still got money. Like that's awesome. Uh, you like, you know, like coming home, having a spouse that likes you and cares about you. And, you know, you guys care about each other. Like it's things like that, that you're like, oh, I understand the value. I not only see it, but I understand it. And I value that thing. And I think that when we do that, those kind of things, it's like when we learn to value those qualities, that's when we learn to develop them or we work hard towards them.